And I think a whole, a whole root of toxic masculinity really comes from that sort of tally system. Um, and it made me look at that within my own life and how often I do that with people that I love. Hi, I'm Connor Swindells and I play Adam Groff on Sex Education. I think the main things that sex education has taught me about relationships is just the value of communication and uh, being able to speak openly with your partner and to hash out differences that you might have and to, to create a stronger bond with people that you love most. And not just romantically speaking, but you know, within your family as well and being open and honest about things that have upset you in the past or things that you, uh, you know, love about them and not being afraid to say so. It's made me look at my own version of masculinity and a lot of the time this is something I've only really figured out recently is how, and it has happened because of the show, but how often as a man, you, how many times you have to check yourself in a conversation to see if you are speaking to someone, another man, or if you're speaking to someone and you're, and you're point scoring, how many times can you really catch yourself point scoring against other men? And I think a whole, a whole root of toxic masculinity really comes from that sort of tally system. Um, and it made me look at that within my own life and how often I do that with people that I love. How <laughs> terrible my social skills were before being thrown together with a bunch of people my age and being forced to come out of my shell. Um, I was painfully shy beforehand and I think that being around such amazing personalities and such fun people who really care about the stories that we're telling made me feel more confident in myself through also playing someone who's not so much not so confident um, made me think or well, how you know I've definitely found myself in situations or acted in a way that Adam has when I was a kid and I think that through looking back at that part of my life and seeing how far I come now um, did make me feel more confident in, in myself. So the way in which we prepare for the show's intimate scenes is by having long in-depth conversations with uh, our directors, our producers, our wonderful producers and most importantly an intimacy coordinator who acts as a stunt coordinator or choreographer for these sort of very vulnerable moments that we all have or that some of us have um, and they act in a really effective way of being a mediator for any sort of awkwardness or um, fear that you might have and they're able to traverse that very effectively and make our lives, all of our lives, a lot easier. I think the things that make the show so special is the sort of mass representation that it has, just the general diversity that, that has been put together and casted so brilliantly. Um, I've spoken time and time again about our wonderful casting director Lauren Evans who we all owe so much to and how she has really put together and brought forward all these amazing young actors who represent all of us. There's, there isn't really one, there's probably anything that I've shot with Alistair Petrie because he's just a fantastic human being and always so fun to be around. Um, and he's taught me a lot as well about um, just who to be in this business and the way in which to carry yourself and I value that more than just the great scenes that we've had together, it's the things that he's taught me about, just how to be a good person.